What's up, you guys? Happy Monday. It is December 2nd, 2013. And in exactly one week, I'll be 35 years old. And <clears throat> this morning, I was thinking back to my early adulthood and um, there's some things that I'd like to share right now and some people that I'd like to thank because if it weren't for these people I would have committed suicide like 1998 something like that 97 um, I've, I've never, I've never been the popular girl. I was always the pretty girl with issues. I was picked on, bullied, used. I overcompensated in friendships. I went over and beyond for people who, in the same gesture, wouldn't go over and beyond for me. And I held on to that for years and years and years. And when I got to college, I was really just battered and bruised. And I felt very unloved. And as a result, my freshman year of college, I had a 1.9 GPA. My favorite teacher at the time, he gave me an F. His name is Dean Scheibel. And Dean Scheibel gave me an F. And we got along great, but Back then at Loyola, you know, intro to comm studies, you know, you, you, you really had to like, you had to take like certain professors to like get in and then that same professor did thesis at the end. So, you know, they, they knew what you were capable of and they pushed you to your limit. And I wasn't ready to take accountability. And um, I, was, I was so hurt that I waited until he went on sabbatical to take the class again with somebody else. And then he came back and I realized I had to take up my junior and my senior year. <laughs> um, he mentored me through college and beyond. And there were moments in my college career where I thought about jumping off the bluff. I didn't figure many people would miss me anyway. And sometimes you kind of need that person, you know, to come into your life and tell you that you are enough. And Dean Scheibel was one of those people who told me I was enough. The next person is Barbara Bussey. Barbara Bussey was my gender communications teacher. And she was like, Mom, she would listen to me like a therapist. She would embrace me like I was her daughter. And my personal life had gotten so bad at one point, I just took a whole semester off scrambled, busted my butt, and still graduated on time in four years. These two people kept in contact with me when I was not a student at LMU. When I graduated, they kept in contact with me. At one point, I was homeless, sleeping in my car. And these two people never 
made me make an appointment to see them. Barbara Bussey became like the chair. Uh, I never had to make an appointment to see her. Genuine, genuine mentoring, genuine friendship, genuine kindness. That is what creates a person like me. And so this week, before I turned 35, because I almost didn't make it, I just want everybody to take some time out to really watch how you talk to people and uh, watch how you treat people. Because you never know what somebody is going through in their life and sometimes you'll tell somebody something and they won't take heed and then you'll get mad and you'll bash them when the reality is that sometimes your job is just to plant a seed. Your job is not to stare at the ground and watch the seed grow, right? Because nature has to take its course. You have to water the seed. You have to go to sleep. You have to wake up. You have to let the sun come out. You have to water the seed. Like you can't just sit and watch the seed grow. and. Dean and Barbara didn't d didn't push me away when I was discouraged myself and they helped me to be a better person and in 2014 I want you guys to help people be better people like if it weren't for Dean and Barbara in the last 14 years I've I've rescued teen prostitutes from all over the country I have founded a project to help gay teens. I mentor gay, gay teens all over the world who are depressed and suicidal. I work with native youth who are suicidal and depressed or who have alcohol or opiate use addictions. I do all of this because somebody believed in me and told me to never stop believing in God. And I may not be your average minister. I feel like I walk the earth like Jesus looking for people to be saved. I may not be the person on the corner with the bullhorn, but I'm also not the person in behind a pulpit in like a brick and mortar church. But the God that I minister is so large and I got it from a Jesuit university, a Catholic university that allowed me to go to a Buddhist temple and a Hindu temple and learn about other religions and to have a non-biased opinion, not based on a denomination of Christianity. And I thank you guys. Also, Daniel Smith Christopher, my intro to Old Testament um, professor taught me Hebrew and as a result, I was able to go to Israel and speak to people. I have been blessed beyond measure and I am a suicide survivor. And 35 years looks amazing to me. And I have to take the time to thank Loyola Marymount University for that because you guys shaped me to be who I am today. And I appreciate every single professor that I had, the ones I liked and the ones I didn't care for too much. I appreciate every battle. I appreciate every single thing that was taught to me. And finally, I appreciate Charles Mason. Charles Mason admitted me to Loyola, gave me a job for four years. Is someone that I consider a personal friend today. And he continues to work in the trenches to get minorities to this small Jesuit university. And I learned a lot of leadership working in undergraduate admissions. I learned how to command a crowd by giving tours and undergraduate admissions. 
I'm telling you guys all of this because I want you to take some time to reflect on your life and look for the good things that have happened. Stop looking at the bad things. Stop dwelling. Stop asking yourself why somebody did this or that. It's not important. It's not important at all. Take some time to be grateful for the people who have planted a seed in you, right? Who may have said something that you didn't even think about until years later, who told you about a book that you never read until years later. Thank these people because without these people, you wouldn't be you. And I promise you that if you spend more time focusing on the good and you spend less time focusing on the bad, your life will never ever be the same. My birthday present to me is being grateful for all the people that have blessed me in my life. And I am so grateful today for LMU, Dean Scheibel, Charles Mason, Barbara Bussey, Daniel Smith Christopher. I thank you guys because without you, there be no self-esteem queen.